Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's meditation. Please sit comfortably and close your eyes, allowing your body to settle in to wherever you're sitting. And let's begin with a few deep breaths, breathing into your belly, feeling your stomach expand. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And let's do that again. If you like, as you inhale, perhaps go just a little bit deeper. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And once more. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And now just breathe effortlessly without forcing your breath. Simply observe your breath as it naturally flows in and naturally flows out. Today, I'd like to share a few poems by Margaret Atwood. Born in Ottawa in 1939, Margaret Atwood is regarded as one of Canada's finest living writers. Perhaps most famous for, his, for her dystopian novel, The Hands Made Tale. She is also a poet a novelist, an essayist, and an activist. Many of Atwood's works explore themes of gender, power, identity, and nature. As with meditation, Remember, there is nothing that is supposed to happen when hearing poetry. Simply allow the words to flow within you in any way they like. And if you become distracted, simply notice the distraction and bring your awareness gently back to the poetry. Our first poem is called You Begin. And it's a loving monologue to a child. You begin. You begin this way. This is your hand. This is your eye. That is a fish blue and flat on the paper, almost the shape of an eye. This is your mouth. This is an O or a moon, whichever you like. This is yellow. Outside the window is the rain green because it is summer, and beyond that the trees, and then the world, which is round, and has only the colors of these nine crayons. 
This is the world, which is fuller and more difficult to learn than I have said. You are right to smudge it that way with the red and then the orange. The world burns. Once you have learned these words, you will learn that there are more words than you can ever learn. The word hand floats above your hand like a small cloud over a lake. The word hand anchors your hand to this table. Your hand is a warm stone I hold between two words. This is your hand. These are my hands. This is the world, which is round, but not flat, and has more colors than we can see. It begins, it has an end. This is what you will come back to. This is your hand. The moment. The moment when after many years of hard work and a long voyage, you stand in the center of your room, house, half acre, square mile, island, country, knowing at last how you got there and say, I own this, is the same moment when the trees unloose their soft arms around you the birds take back their language. The cliffs fissure and collapse. The air moves back from you like a wave and you can't breathe. No, they whisper. You own nothing. You were a visitor. Time after time, climbing the hill, planting the flag, proclaiming. We never belonged to you. You never found us. It was always the other way round. Water. Water does not resist. Water flows. When you plunge your hand into it, all you feel is a caress. Water is not a solid wall. It will not stop you. But water always goes where it wants to go and nothing in the end can stand against it. Water is patient. Dripping water wears away a stone. Remember that, my child. Remember you are half water. If you can't go through an obstacle, go around it. Water does. And finally, two quotes from Margaret Atwood. You may not be able to alter reality but you can alter your attitude towards it. And this paradoxically alters reality. Try it and you will see. I hope 
that people will finally come to realize there is only one race, the human race, and that we are all members of it. Before we complete our meditation, let's introduce four intentions for a wonderful moment, a wonderful weekend, and a wonderful life. As I pronounce each intention, if you like, repeat silently once or twice. Joyful, energetic body. Loving, compassionate heart. Reflective, alert mind. Lightness of being. And as you go about your day and your weekend, have the intention and the words of Margaret Atwood to always remember we are half water, to be patient like water, to not resist obstacles, but to go around them. And now, if you like, feel free to unmute your line and bring your palms together in front of your heart center. And let's chant together the Sanskrit word for being, Om. And when you're ready, gently and gracefully open your eyes as we greet each other with Namaste. 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 Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Brian.